Hey YouTubers, Sean is here. Today I'm going to show you an update of my team books and videos via chess collection as of November 24th, 20, I'm at 21, 2020. So, let's get started. Let's start with some I love toy train tapes. First we have the 1994 versions of it. I have two of them. One have been updated. This is the original print. I'm going to show the cover on this one only. Just going to show the tapes. They're different. St stick away by the way when this one has woods at wheels. You might notice in the 1997 VHS has no woods at wheels. See if for proof. There's a chip on the lid, but the tape plays fine. It's good to have a jeans. I'm hoping I get the 2000 VHS. Which I heard the case is really different. Next we got I will Toy Trains number two from 1994. Original case. Stick away long label as with set wheels. You might notice in my 2002, I'm at 2000, 2002-ish, there is version I got from many years ago, factory seal, has no what's of wheels. It has incredible prints on the lid and no side frames. I did have the case for a while when I got this. I don't remember where I hit it. Must have been a, an accident. Which, that's okay. Deal with it. Next we got part three. This is, um, this first version is from 1994 case. Sticker label and label. Has what's at wheels. I did got a new version of part three that has James Coffee's music also. But this is the 2000 re-release. Still says 1994 and 2000 on back. In Coeval frame, I got a factory seal years ago. This year. And prints on the lid. For this one again. Next step. Just give me a minute. It's part four of the last. The first to feature James Coffey's music, and the last to feature Wits at Wheels on VHS from TM, Stick Away from Long Label. And the back is in awful condition than the previous video, which I don't know how this happened. Maybe. Uh, we got different versions of Part 5. They're both from 1980, but just give me a second. This first one I'm going to show you is the 1998, it's the original, you can see it has no water wheels, and yes, this copy does feature no NTH preview, it's not an 1998-ish reprint, I would say. Next one is the 2002 release. <coughs> Sorry. Just have something bad. This is the incredible prints on the whip, but no side frames. Has H100 on the back. That's pretty rare. This play 1998 still. Program. It features still in it. Next we got. A 1999 reprint of I Will Toy Trains number 6. It has an MTH preview at the end. Before the credits roll. Or and Label also heard Mike Wolf is retiring for MTH. But MTH is Train's founder. He's been working since 1980s. I'm sure I miss you, Mike Wolf. At least we have good memories of you when you were around. Yeah. We got two versions of I Walk Toy Trains number seven. Um, I'm going to show the cover on this one only. Also, both of the back say they're from 2000 units for 1999, which is kind of weird. I got this one factory sealed new last year at New York. This one is a little damaged. Yeah. 
don't know. Um, I think this one might be a little damaged. Next is one that I finally got updated to my collection that I didn't show you in the last part. That is, I love Toy Trains Part A 2000 VHS. Yeah, I got a factory seal. Sticker label and label for this one. It's not one train, well, train fans copy, fortunately. That's okay, I'll deal with it. Next we got, I, I bought this at an antique mile train shop. And yes, it was factory seal. That's the same price where I bought part three and part five. And yes, this is factory seal also where I got. This one is one train fan. Mine is in Clayville, and it's also recorded as P mode. So yeah, just like the music video I just got recently today. And prints on the lid. And no sufferings. I would put that in the lid, does not exist. We got. I love Toy Trains number 10. The back says 2001, and it was from 2002. 2001 is the year I was born. Prints on the Scion lid, and the young label looks really small compared to other ones. Next, we got a childhood copy of Power 11 green and brown prints on the wood, but no side frames. I'm going to show you the case one. Cover one. Yeah, this does have a case. And will prints on the lid. And take a look at this. Was this meant from what happened a year earlier, before 2002? Was it... I don't understand why they put that. Was it to commemorate the attacks or something? I'm not sure. From September 11th? I don't know. Next, I did close in two. Um, or this year, it was... I made the production last year. Part 12. This is the 2003 VHS. I did get the original print DVD of part one, two, three, prints on the side, and yeah, it, although, um, yeah, tape has a crack right over there, see that, but it still plays fine, so it matters. Okay, got it. Next we got, finally have it. I want to train the final show 2004 VHS and Coleville prints on the lid and no side frames. It's glad you see what I got. I got some vinyl. I don't have. Oh no, yeah. I'm hoping to find that. I did find one on eBay recently. Top, back. It's the original 1997 VHS. Sticker label and label it says our toy trains part four now available. So I'm guessing it's the original rare VHS. Also, finally got the version and the blockbuster exclusive. I finally got four, five, six, but however, has an ink label prints on the lid. No side frames. That's pretty rare that it's ink label. Next. I did got this at uh, today. I will toy trains the music video from 2000 VHS. It's just like you win train fans copy the train fan. It's for Corey's Pimo. Has the label says it's from 2002, just like yours. And prints on the lid, but they look pretty different. It looks pretty different than the upper tape I have with prints on the lid. Next up. Our rare VHS my great model training layouts part four. Yeah, 
I'm guessing it's a 1998-ish reprint because it has no wood set wheels in the upper. Here's the end label for this one. Oh, and yes, um, there's one tape I'm hoping I get the sequel of, and that is Big Trains, I'm at, and Toy Trains 1994 VHS. Tape is damaged at the beginning. Hope I get the sequel they make of this one. No print day, but the tape has a crack right here, as you can see. But it still plays fine. That's all I need to know. Next up. Uh, is two ones I did post the clothes into. Well, where's the other one? Hmm. I'll show you this one. You might see I did close into I uh, what well, Christmas 2000 via chess. Incolable prints on the lid. I finally posted the close into this tape. And yes, I make you have a Nisa Scrooge costume with that thing. With me on it. Next one is, well, from 2003. It's this Century TM Century Train Layouts 9 2003 VHS mm, Princess I am with. Next one is the um, two tapes. No, not two tapes. This is the history of Lionel Trains 19. No, one VHS. It has TMAK books and videos on the back. I was not expecting that. Tom calls, what did the K stand for? No pretty. What did that stand for? Was it someone you work with that had the name that or something? I don't know. Let me know. Here's Magic of Lionel Trains 1993 VHS sticker label. Angle was in bad shape and has wits and wheels. Luckily for yours. Hmm. Oh, and there's the sequel that I have. This is uh, 1994 VHS version. Front spine or spine top. Has this pin, which I'm tr in the back trying to tear out. Stick all the way on label. That's what's at wheels. Yeah. Next, we got Century Lionel Trains two tape set back. Yeah, this was the First via chest tape, I had to replace the lids on. Here's part. I met. Here's part one, which I need to do on this one, and part two, which I did on this one. Fortunately, there are pieces of wheels, both tapes are on wheels, and there's sixty copies so And yeah, oh, um, the way that I replaced it was a former one for my mom and dad's wedding VHS tape, which broke, and I was able, unfortunately, to make it into a DVD before it got damaged. Thank goodness. Hmm. Next tape, I think it's rare, or extremely rare. Here's this. 
Rest in peace, him. He did die in 2019, I forgot to mention. Incredible Prince on the lid. And at the end, it features the Avril Toy Trains, the final show, 2004 trailer VHS. Which I was expecting that. Oh. Oh, and there it is. There's the one I had for a while. Oops. Sorry. Here's um, part three. Stick with I only boils what's the fact you see what I got. And it has a young label, which is a reprint. I'm guessing because the looks pretty different than yours would turn through. Next tapes are pretty rare. This one was factory. A lot of my TM tapes I I were factory when I got Except this one. I'll show you. The, there are two more train TM tapes I have left. Stick away, label and label. It's the original. 2001 VHS. Features um, I will Toy Trains number 9 preview. Be all about Make Machines 2004 VHS. This was Factory Sale where I got it. It's the last TM books and videos. Every video I have release and it has a incredible and it has a PPS style per date which is April for April 13 2006 40 copy so and printed day before the anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's assassination of Fort Sphere it's a shame that John Wilkes Booth killed him the machine did that Next, we got extremely rare VHS tape of the train story. It was also factory to see what I got. The Encoy looks really different than any other TM Books VHS VHS tape I have. And December 6, 2005, 55 copies. So, in, yeah, earlier print. I've never been to the museum day. Did video on. Hoping I get the DD copy of this soon. Let me see. Am I looking at any VHS tapes? Or TM really? Hmm. Nope. I don't think so. I do although have um one thing I want to ask you, Tom McCulls. Um uh, I meant no, um, I do have a, my cousin Warren wanted to marry Jeff, McCall's the narrator for that show, yeah, he's a, I have a picture of me and him, let me show you my train room, I have a lot, I also want to get your Blu-ray that you made recently, there he is over there in my train room, and yes, um, my cousin Warren, if you haven't noticed, here's the picture of him with a lot of my videos. Anyway, gotta go now. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe my channel, and hit the bell icon where you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Anyway, peace out. Back. You can hear the sound of that clickety-clack As they pass the houses and the little toy shack